Okay, now it's the Proton Iris Walk around So the car that have been displayed here are premium model So this car does come with 5 spec The standard manual and the standard CVT And the executive CVT only But you get an option to choose either a 1.3 liter engine or 1.6 liter engine And a premium spec 1.6 CVT So let's start with the exterior walk around so, in the previous generation Iris, right? Not the previous generation, pre facelift Iris, you get halogen projector. But in the newer model, they have been discontinued. Uh, I think it's because of the cost saving. Because when you need to produce a halogen projector, you need to have a new machine to produce it. So, actually, the halogen reflectors are the same with the 2019 Proton Persona. So, they can actually save the cost producing the lights for the two cars we also got some proton wordings inside to make the car more classy uh, so in terms of looks right this generation uh, this facelifted iris looks more sportier than before so here we also got some bold kind of design and this down here actually holds the proton batch so this is a 3d illumination we also got some infinite, infinite wave design like what we got in the Proton Persona and the Proton X70 so to me the white color in this iris like, does make the car look more stand out but the signature color of the iris is actually the blue color but to me this white looks good though nonetheless so down here also got the same LED DRL like what you got in the Proton Persona and the front parking sensors are stand across the range so intention to detail so you actually you can see a small stripe of the chrome bar chrome stripes right here so the small detail actually makes the car more stand up so in this uh fish lifted proton iris we have 600 uh, 367 details improvement in this car the fronts are one improvement the rims are one Improvements. So others improvements are goes inside the car. So I will talk to you later. So let's start with the exterior looks first. So in the premium model, you only get you get a black roof. In executive and standard, you get the color match roof. So it actually makes the car more sporty. And down here, you get a 50 inch wheel. In the standard model and executive 1.3, you get executive you get a 14 inch. But the display car is a premium, so it gets 50 inch wheel. And this is a dual tone design, what they call a flame blade design. So to me, the rims looks good. So the proportion are at this, in this car are same with the previous pre-face pre lift model. So at the back, you get the same tail light design as the pre facelift model but Proton did make the black panels to cover half of the boot door so to me this design looks good though and same with the Proton Persona the Proton wordings are actually illuminated uh, is displayed at the black panel right here it makes the car more classy and sporty so in the premium model it gets a black painted spoiler Okay, from this uh, facelifted Proton Iris, no matter which variant you get, you also get this spoiler. So down here, they have redesigned the bumper. So at the back, you can see it actually makes legs less bulky as compared to the facelift model. So I quite like this design though. So we got the, the fake vents right here together with the diffuser and the chrome stripe right here and the reverse camera. So the iris bedding, you will see the R is actually painted red. So it's actually, I think Proton want to make this car to more racing nature and sporty. So to me, I quite like the iris R being painted red.
So overall, the car proportion are same as the previous lift, just that Broughton did make some improvement in the details, such as the appearance, the interior. So let's get in the car and see what improvement they made inside the car. So we get keyless entry from the executive to premium model. So like what I said, the Proton Iris gets the full black interior. None like the Proton Persona, it gets to a dual tone interior. Actually, this has been painted in gloss grey. Unlike the preface leaf, it's actually a silver. So the seat, you still get these patterns and half leather and half fabric. So to me, this seat looks this body. Okay, let's get in the car. So the quality of this uh, button of the car have been improved much better compared to the pre facelift model. And you've got this kind of design. I also got a keyless entry. And down here, I also got a compartment right here. So overall, the interior is similar to the previous pre-face lift model but you will see some detailing such as this, the knobs. The quality have been improved, none like the pre-face lift model is pretty loose. And the instrument cluster have been redesigned, same with the 2019 Proton Persona that I just reviewed just now. They, they share the same instrument cluster. So you still get the same design of the steering wheel but it gets rest stitching at the Leather red steering wheel and gloss black finishing at the bottom spoke. So this being a premium spec, you get this touchscreen unit, 7 inch together with the voice command system. So activate it using the right spoke. This houses your different channel settings, uh, volume settings and your phone call. So the center layout doesn't change much, just that you get a new design of the gear knob such as uh, same as the Proton Persona and the Proton X70. So down here also got this compartment right here and this blank still present in this pre uh, this facelifted model and down here it's actually rubberized so it doesn't make noise when you put some coins inside and also got 12 volt socket together with USB ports and the fixed stitching are also present on this iris actually it looks the car more classy lah if they remove this the interior will make a bit dull so I forgot to mention in the Proton Persona, you still get these two USB port in the iris and two cup holders. Uh, it's decently sized but it's usable. I think this, I don't know where, what you can put, I think you put the keys also can. Mm. So this being a premium model, it gets a frameless, win a frameless rear wheel mirror but it's a manual dimming. But it's alright. I also got that dimming lights and the strap right here you can put your touch and go cut inside and you get a cover with a venting mirror so another improvement is the up here has already been black the older preface leaf it gets a white roof so it makes the car more sporty lah because most sporty car the interiors are black but at least you get this silver finishing to actually makes the car more interesting get front parking sensors, switch, central locking, emergency signal lights and the traction control off. For safety issues, turn off this. So another improvement in this car, right? they actually improved the sound insulation of the CVT gearbox and the engine noise. For what I know in other test drive video of the Proton Iris, I think if you want to see the test drive video, you can actually watch other mainstream YouTubers doing that. So I just take it on the tour of this car only. So in this seat, right, you see the, the side also got some bolster, which actually holds you when you're driving. So I get enough leg support and tight support also. So let's get to the back seat. So the seat stars can fold 60-40 using this button right here. So after you fold it, you actually can see you also got one step higher, the seat to the boot. 
so it, it may be very difficult to load heavy heavy item but to me it's all right So we still get three individual headrests. The Proton Persona doesn't have it. So at the back, you also got this covered front seats and some seat pockets right here. That this actually PU made it, but it's alright. So this actually makes the in interior room more spacious. So I got this much of leg room and this much of headroom. So actually the behind right is the seats are also nice and comfortable. You get these patterns too. So we can go, I think the seat's comfort right, is suitable for longer distance trip because the, you see the seat in front have been lengthened so actually you get enough leg support and tight supports too but it doesn't get an armrest uh, most of this segment car doesn't get an armrest right so never mind so front here also got a cup holders so the center tunnel is not as high so you can actually sit at the middle very comfortably It's pretty practical. It's got a screw. And to me, it's alright. And the door closing sounds are quite solid. So let's see the boot. Uh, so to me, this boot size are pretty decently large compared to the Prodo Myvi, but it's usable lah. So also got the lights behind. When you pop open the bot, uh, this board right here, you can see you got a space a spare tire, emergency triangle, and a jack up too. So uh, pretty well organized boot space. And you also got this board attached to the boot, so when you open it, the tonic cover will actually goes up to so have better loading, conveniency. So the boot opening is uh, rather small because of the design of the car is tall, but it's sort of bulges in so the boot openings are rather small lah, but to me it's okay mm, the, the closing sounds are quite solid I don't know what this do I think is the passenger airbag on off I'm not sure so you got three kg hooks right here. Mm, pretty decently sized glove box, but it's usable. You can put your owner's manual or some daily use item inside. You also got the chrome strips running through the aircon vents. It, it actually makes the car look more classy lah, compared to the pre face lift. And touchscreen unit. Now I cannot start the car so I cannot demonstrate. I think you can check out other mainstream YouTubers, they will actually demonstrate the screen, how it works to you guys. So the build qualities are mm, much much better than the preface lift model. So to me, the, the cabin I'll get 7 out of 10. And the space optimizings are pretty good. And these are rubberized. So they actually do the detailings inside the car. And the sound insulation of the cars are pretty good. The handling improved. The soundproofing inside the car is improved. The gearbox noise and the engine noise have improved. The appearance and some of the um, daily use items are also improved. So to me, uh, this car is gaining much better compared to the first first time they launched. A lot of complaints. So the this car doesn't launch yet, so I don't know the prices. So I think the price will be around 45,000 ringgit to 60,000 ringgit. Below 60,000 ringgit. So if any further, uh, further information, you can ask your nearest Proton dealership. And now this car can open for booking and that Persona also. Okay, so this is my first initial imp impression of this 2019 Proton Iris.
Okay, after you have seen the <coughs> first initial impression review for my channel, right? So actually, uh, Proton did create a good job in cost optimization, such as they actually changed the headlight, same as the Proton Persona, because the the cost of making a halogen projector headlight is pretty high compared to others like halogen reflectors. So Proton did change it to halogen reflectors. So another thing, right, the interior packaging, the quality are much much better than before. The quality in the car, such as the mis um, matching of the panels with other panels, right, are actually quite impressed. And they also got a lot of sporty elements, such as the back, you get the diffusers and the fake vents and a black panel with proton wordings inside and you still also get the patterns even though it's the face system model so it actually makes the car more sporty and in the premium space you also get the voice command system but the system are not as high tech as the Proton X70 it's just a rather basic but it's usable you can shift between your music some specs uh, you, what's the weather today the navigations the the proto iris dust can do this for you and the quality of the knobs and overall comfort right is actually a big improvement for previous model and the sound insulation of the car have been improved it. so if you want to see the test drive video i think you can go to others youtuber channel because now the cars are not currently for this test driving yet so I just only can tell my initial impression of this car. So overall it's a pretty good quality car compared to before. And safety wise you also get 6 airbags at the premium model. Uh, anti lock braking system, ele electric stability control, brake assist, hill start assist are standard across the range. Same as the Persona. So to me it's a pretty good plus point of the B segment hatch and also the B segment sedan, the Persona so yeah this is my initial conclusion of this 2019 Proton Iris so be sure to follow my Instagram channel automotive fan for future updates so thank you guys and cheers